Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT Jam 2020. So we are here with this problem 54 of your paper. It's a section C problem that is its numerical type problem. So have a look. Let fx is given by root x plus alpha x where x is greater than 0 and gx is given like this. Now what is gx? gx be the sum of the first three terms of the Taylor series of fx. So gx is actually the sum of the first three terms of the Taylor series of fx around x is equal to 1. Now <clears throat> it is given to us that g of 3 is 3 then what we have to do we have to find out alpha. Alright so let us firstly try to write your Taylor series of fx around 1. So if you know the definition of Taylor series, then you must know this, that how you have to write Taylor series around 1. So Taylor series of fx around 1 is given by this f of 1 plus x minus 1 f dash of 1 plus x minus 1 whole square by 2 factorial f double dash of 1 plus x minus 1 whole cube by 3 factorial f triple dash of 1. I will not write after this because it's going to infinity. I will. We have to just consider the three terms. So this is your first term, this is your second and this is your third. All right. So we have to work up to this only. So what is given to us that the sum of the three terms of the Taylor series is given by g. And we also know that g at 3 is equal to 3. Right, g at 3 is equal to 3. This means that this means that if you will place 3 inside your function, all right, what is g actually? g is actually the sum of the three terms. That means g is what you can write your gx like this f of 1 plus x minus 1, f dash of 1 plus x minus 1 whole square by 2 factorial f double dash of 1. Alright, so this is your g because we have written Taylor series for you and its first three terms are like this. Alright, so now use this thing that g of 3 is 3. You will end up with this that you will get f of 1 plus 2 times of f dash of 1. Then you will get uh, 3 minus 1 is 2 square is uh, you will get 1 no you will get 2. 2 of f double dash of 1. Now let us calculate derivatives of f. fx is given by root x plus alpha x. So f dash of x will be 1 by 2 root x plus alpha. f double dash of x will be uh, 1 by I think minus 1 by 4 x to the power 3 by 2 plus 0. Alright. So when you will place 1 inside this you will end up with 1 plus alpha f dash of 1 is 1 by 2 plus alpha f double dash of 1 is minus 1 by 4 so just place these three value into this equation that we have written over here so if you will place it you will get this 1 plus alpha plus twice of 1 by 2 plus alpha and then you will get minus 1 by 2 so after the calculation you will get 1 plus 2 alpha minus 1 by 2 so it will be 3 alpha so 2 minus 1 by 2 is uh, 2 minus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 and you have 3 alpha over here and then you have 3 so 3 minus 3 by 2 is again 3 by 2 so what you will get as your alpha you will get 1 by 2 as your alpha which is 0 0.5 so this is why your answer for this question will be 0 0.5. So if you have any doubt or query regarding this problem, you can always ask in the comment section below. And also where what we have done, we have written links of uh, links of WhatsApp and Telegram for, 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 for your doubts section. All right. So if you if you have any doubt, you can join those groups and then you can post your problems in that group. All right. So thank you.